What's up everybody, my name is Tommy and I am here to welcome you to my very first Let's Play. Um, now, <laughs> this isn't the Let's Play itself. This is a pre-Let's Play, a pre-series informational video to tell you to break down the rules and tell you the origins and kind of introduce myself a little bit because of course, this is my first video on my channel. If you go to my channel, you'll see first video. Anyway, um, again, a little bit about myself. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm married, I have two kids. My daughter is almost four. I have a son who is about two and a half. Um, I'm a web developer by trade. Um, I work here in the Valley and um, I love my job. But uh, in my free time, um, I also love playing video games. Obviously, that's why I'm here doing a Let's Play. I love reading, I love playing sports and exercising. Um, I love uh, uh, watching movies. Uh, I saw The Greatest Showman recently, which was amazing. I'm about to go see, I wanted to see Annihilation, didn't see Annihilation. I, wanted, I want to see, and I think I'm gonna go see Ready Player One. I read the book last year and I thought it was amazing. Fantastic book, I actually, my wife read it, physical copy, I did the audio book and I think his name is Will Weeding. I don't remember, and don't quote me on that, but uh, uh, whoever the narrator was, was amazing. Um, anyway, it's neither here nor there. Um, but I also love learning uh, new things in general. Um, and I love discussing complicated issues and topics with, with people, but that's not what we're here to do today. What we're here to do today, it, to, blah, blah, blah. what we're here to do today is introduce the Let's Play that I'm gonna be doing, which, um, and why, now you might be asking yourself, why are you doing a Let's Play? Well, again, it's simple. I love playing video games. I love Pokemon. I love playing Pokemon games. Right now I'm running through uh, Pokemon HeartGold. I've never played HeartGold before. Uh, last time I played Generation 2 was back when I was a kid. The first Pokemon game that I ever bought myself was Pokemon Silver. Um, and, uh, and I love the game so much. So many late nights staying up playing on a Game Boy SP or a Game Boy Color. Um, and... Anyway, and nostalgic, nostalgic. So Heart Gold, though, when they redid it and 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 put and did it in, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Heart Gold, oh my gosh, blowing me away. I love the music in Generation Two. Um, technically, Heart Gold Generation Four, but either way. Um, anyway, so I love Pokemon. I love playing video games. I love playing Pokemon video games, and uh, I love watching Let's Plays. I love watching LPs and. Um, if you're wondering what I was doing, I was my desk seems a little off. Anyway, I love watching LPs, whether it's the King Nappy, Shady Penguin, Original 151, Asteroid videos. Um, you know, I, I love watching those guys. They look like they're having a ton of fun. I love the graphics. Um, I, I, I'm interested in the work that goes into uh, editing those videos. And, and it, like I said, it just you it seems satisfying. And I'll, I can tell you that from the work that I've done so far in doing the intro and outro video um, and, um, effects for for this for this series, um, it is a lot. It is really rewarding seeing a piece of work, whether you might think it's not that great or whether I think it's okay, but you know could be better. But I've done the best that I can right now because of where my skills are at. I still accomplish something, and it, and, and it, it's it, it seems pretty amazing. Um, it's really satisfying. That's why I'm a programmer. I get a lot of satisfaction out of accomplishing those tasks, tasks and figuring out things that I've never figured out before. Again, I love learning new things. Um, anyway, so they're a ton of fun. They look like a ton of fun and I decided why not bring my video game playing to other people? Um, now, we're gonna be doing an Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon combo lock. And what I mean by we is not just you, the viewer, and me, the Let's Player, but also, there's this community, this podcast community that, community that I'm a part of. That is a difficult word to say and then follow up by another word um, called It's Super Effective. Podcast is called It's Super Effective, um, known as uh, the PKM Ncast or Pokemon Podcast. And it's, uh, it's an amazing community. The, the uh, host, the main host of the show is uh, Steve Black Jr., uh, SBJ. He uh, also Will and Travis and, and Micah and Irene, and, um, uh, oh, uh, Al and um, uh, Rochelle is also, they're also a part of it now. Um, but it's an amazing community and, um, and they use, the community itself uses a messaging app called Slack. 
um, to keep in touch with everybody. And, and there is a group of people that does Nuzlocke play that, that does Nuzlocke playthroughs um, as a group. And so we call them co Nuzlocks. And this time around, everybody decided to do Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon combo lock. And um, so that's, that's what I'm here doing, filming, recording that playthrough um, because I wanted to record the last one, to be honest with you, it was a Pokemon Y egg lock. And I wanted to record that, but we had technical difficulties that I couldn't get by. So we got past them and we are here now to record Ultra Moon combo lock. Um, now for the rules, the rules are gonna be linked in this description and all the other videos uh, descriptions from here on out. And it's a two to three page document. The three pages include, the, the last page is a schedule and level limits and all these other things, but um, it's uh, it'll explain all the rules. Now there are a couple of rules that I'm not going to be following. Um, I'm not gonna be following them for a couple of reasons. One is I just don't have fun with, uh, with, with those rules specifically, but also there's another rule that I'm gonna be adding on and that rule is gonna make it much more difficult if those rules are also in place. It's gonna make it much more difficult anyway, but if those rules are in place, it'll be nearly impossible. So um, you can read all the rules down below. Like I said, there's a level limit. So before each trial and each major major battle, um, there's a cap that your Pokemon can't go past. Um, what else is involved? Uh, there. Oh, combo lock involves a dice. We're gonna be using a dice to uh, randomize you know, our encounters, um, which is going to be pretty, pretty interesting and, and pretty amazing. And I'm excited for that. Um, but without further ado, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this explanation video. Let me look at my notes really quickly. Um, like I said, the link for the rules is going to be in the description. Um, so the first rule, first, the, the rule that we're going to be adding in is I'm only going to, I'm going to start with only two Pokemon. That's right. Two Mons only. Um, but after each grand trial, I'm going to add one Pokemon to the party, one Pokemon to the team. That way, there are four grand trials. After each grand trial, we're going to add one Pokemon. That means that by the Elite Four, by the time the end of all four grand trials, we're going to have a full team of six, which means going into the Elite Four, we're going to have a full team of six. Um, and I think that that adds a little extra challenge on it. Um, and, and, it, and it's so far I've done it in four, three or four Nuzlocke's uh, that I've run myself and, and it's been, it's been kind of fun. Um, now the second, in a second, we're going to get into the rules that I'm not going to, uh, oh, we'll get into the rules that I'm not going to use last. So second are the rules that I want to highlight. Again, I highlighted the, the level cap and the dice rolls. Um, let me bring up the dice rolls real quick. All right, sorry about that. Now for you, it was probably two seconds. For me, it was about two minutes. Anyway, all right, so we roll a six-sided die. I'm gonna have a digital one and an app uh, call, uh, called Randomness on my computer, um, and it's it should do fine. Uh, if you roll a one, one to three, you get uh, the corresponding encounter, which means if you roll a one, you get the first encounter, two, a second counter, and so on. Um, Dupe's Clause is taken into consideration in this. If you roll a four, you want to trade. If you roll a five, um, you hatch eggs. Now, whether we have to trade for eggs or whether I'm going to be able to bring eggs in, um, I, I'm not entirely sure about that yet. That'll be found out by the second episode, I'm sure. Or by the time we get to the Pokemon Center, the first Pokemon Center, I'll, I'll have that figured out. Um, so that's five. Uh, six is going to be a player choice, plus one free option from the following options. Now, if we have zero, so which means I get to choose one through five, whether I get an egg, a wonder trade, or whether I get the first, second, or third encounter on a specific route. So, uh, on that specific route. Um, now, the extra option is if you have, there are one, two, three, four, five different things that you are allowed to do. If you have zero trials finished, you get a Pokemon of your choice from a previous route. Um, if you have two trials finished, you use items on all battles in a trial area. Okay, so that doesn't, we're gonna get to why that doesn't apply in a minute. Um, four trials finished, you use one Rotom power either in or out of battle. Six trials finished, you revive one Pokemon. Interesting. 
eight trials finished, players choice from the following options. Okay. Um, and for the starters, you roll a six, uh, a six sided die and use the following choices. One or four is grass, two or five fire, three or six is water. So that, those are the, the rules that we're gonna be following now. If any of that was confusing or I went through that way too fast or maybe not fast enough, um, please feel free to click on the link uh, below in the description to, to read the rules. Um, now there are again, um, two rules, two rules or three rules that we will write, three rules that we will not be following in uh, according to the rules in the combo lock that are linked below. Those rules are we're gonna be able to use, or we're gonna play on switch instead of set. Um, couple of reasons for that. One is because of the added difficulty of only having a limited number of party members. We have to be able to switch out in and out, but also because of switch training, partly because we're, we only have a limited number of party members, um, switch, uh, switching, switch training is gonna be really important um, when we first start training up a new member. We're gonna be able to use potions um, in battle. Uh, potions and healing items. I just think that with two members or three members going into the, the first two or three islands is not gonna, it's, it's gonna be a little bit difficult or at least going into the trials, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. So, um, and I'm not against difficulty. That's why I'm adding this other restriction on, but using potions in battle, listen, everyone uses potions in battle, come on. Um, the last thing that we're not going to abide by is we're gonna be able to leave gyms after entering. It's too much of a, of a restriction um, because if you have to buy balls to catch Pokemon and in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, it's not a problem because you start out with like $30,000 anyway. But um, I just wanna stay a little bit consistent because money is money can be hard to come by in Pokemon games sometimes. So anyway, those are the rules that we're not gonna be following. We added on the rule. Um, uh, and the, the last thing that I want to mention is the nicknaming. So right now, for right now, we're going to be using a nicknaming theme and I'm going to nickname Pokemon after types of pasta. Um, so look out for that. That'll be super exciting and super fun. Um, aside from that, I don't, that's it. We're going to go into episode one and, um, thank you for tuning in to this informational episode for the ultra moon combo lock. And, um, I guess I'll see you guys in episode one. Bye.